So you're trying to figure out what is Bentonville all about? What's the cost of living? What are the pros? What are the cons? Well, that's what we're gonna dig into today. And I hope to uncover a couple for you that you may have never even thought of. One of the things that Bentonville certainly has going for it is the art and culture scene. We've got the Bentonville Film Fest. Everywhere you go around town in Bentonville, there's museums, there's things that definitely speak to the local art culture. Anthony, are there free things to do in Bentonville? Well, of course there are. There's both inside and outside things to do in Bentonville that are free. When I'm talking about inside, we're talking about visiting one of the eight Bentonville museums. Check out this video I did that actually goes into the detail of what each one of those museums are. When we're talking about outside activities, numerous parks scattered throughout Bentonville. You could go up into Bella Vista, check out one of their seven lakes. Over into Rogers, there's lakes over there. Hiking trails, biking trails, anything that you're looking out for outside, kayaking, canoeing, boating, we have it here in Bentonville, Arkansas or close by. Another thing that my family and I like about Bentonville is all the different kinds of food that is available here in Bentonville and of course around in the area. A couple of our favorites are right off of the square, Table Mesa, Tuscan Trotter, here at Oven and Tap as well. So if food is your thing, a pro for Bentonville is going to be the food scene. You know those really cool towns that have farmer's markets? Well, Bentonville has one as well. The time of year that we're shooting this, they're not open right now, but if you go to downtownbentonville.org, you can be updated as to what events are going on, not just the farmer's market, but the local concert series, First Friday and other events that are taking place here on the square. With some major Fortune 500 companies that you may have heard of, Bentonville also has all the vendors that support those companies. So we have a very vibrant job market here. I would be amiss if I didn't mention that Bentonville has some top rated schools. Down below, I'll put in the link to Bentonville schools so you can check them out for yourself to see if it might be a fit for you and your family. I have clients moving here from all over the United States, and one of the benefits they tell me about moving to Bentonville is it's fairly low cost of living. I actually did a video last week where we talked about the cost of living, so click on the link above if you really wanna know what your city compares to in regards to cost of living from there to Bentonville. <laughs> Woo! All right, that's enough. Do you like being a part of something that's growing? Bentonville is literally growing right behind me. Off into the distance is Walmart's headquarters. They're building a whole new home office back there. Hotels, mountain biking trails. They're building things constantly here in Bentonville, which actually is gonna bring us over to our cons list. With all the growth and construction that Bentonville is seeing, it can be a pro, but it also can be a con. A lot of the times you could be driving around town and the normal route that you take is now closed off because they're widening the road or they're building a new building. Let's talk about traffic for a second. Now, if you're from this area, traffic might be 15 to 30 minutes to get somewhere. If you're from somewhere else, like a major metropolitan area, the traffic here really isn't much to say anything about. We could go on and on about the pros that Bentonville has to offer. We definitely need to talk about the cons as well, because if you're considering looking to move to this area, my family and I found out when we moved back here that we might have some small allergies. So when it comes to flowers and grasses, check out your sources to find out pollen content and things like that to see if allergies might be a problem for you here in Bentonville, Arkansas. Another thing that you might think is a negative thing about the area is we don't have a major airport. We do have a national airport, XNA. I don't know why they call it Fayetteville Airport, but it's in Bentonville. But we don't have a lot of direct flights places. So if you're wanting to go to Mexico, if you're wanting to go out of the country, you probably have to make a connecting flight, say in Chicago, Atlanta, or maybe Dallas. Unfortunately, if you're a sports fan, that's not something we have here in Bentonville in regards to major sports teams, MLB, 
NHL, NBA. Going to have to go outside of the city for that. Of course, we do have the Razorbacks, though, down in Fayetteville that you can cheer for. And we also have minor league baseball with the Arkansas Naturals. That's a farm team to the Kansas City Royals. That's all we have time for today. As always, I appreciate you tuning in. Of course, if there's anything I can ever help you with, call me, text me, email me. I look forward to hearing from you soon.